Hello my dear students, today we are going to discuss a very important topic from class 11th chapter 2 that is error. So let's start. As you know that the foundation of science and technology is measurement. Every measurement has some uncertainty, whatever be the measuring instrument. And we call the uncertainty as error. And you will be surprised to know that error also propagates. It depends on what kind of algebraic operation you are applying. For example, if we consider a rectangle. And you are going to measure its length and breadth. So when you are going to measure its length, the measured value of length have some uncertainty as well as the breadth also have some uncertainty. If I ask you to calculate the area of the rectangle, then what are you going to do? Area is length into breadth. It means the errors, the uncertainties are, are also going to be multiplied. This means that when you multiply length and breadth, you multiply with their errors. Ko bhi aap multiply kar rahe when I ask you to calculate the sum of length and breadth or the perimeter, then what are you going to do? You are adding the uncertainties also. It means errors are going to propagate in the manner which algebraic operation you are going to apply. Before understanding the error properly, we should know the two basic terms which are very very important. The terms are accuracy and precision. So the first term is accuracy. Now what is accuracy? It is the measure of how close the measured value is to the true value. So, how close the measured value is to the true value? कि आपकी जो measured value है, वो true value को कितना approach करती है? It means, जितना कम difference होगा measured value में और true value में. जितना कम डिफरेंस होगा उतना ज्यादा आपका रिजल्ट मोर एक्यूरेट होगा ट्रू वैल्यू मींस एक्चुअल वैल्यू जितना ज्यादा आप एक्चुअल वैल्यू को अप्रोच करेंगे उतना ज्यादा आपके रिजल्ट जो है वो मोर एक्यूरेट होगा क्लियर लेसर द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द ट्रू वैल्यू एंड द मेजर वैल्यू मोर विल बी द एक्यूरेसी ऑफ द मेजरड वैल्यू नाउ द नेक्स्ट टर्म इज प्रेसिजन now what is precision? It tells us It tells us Up to what resolution The physical quantity is measured Precision means it tells us up to what resolution the physical quantity is measured. कि आपने जो physical quantity को measure किया है, उस physical quantity का limit of resolution कितना है? कितने number of decimal places तक आपने measurement की है? जितने ज़्यादा number of decimal places तक आप measurement करेंगे, आपका result उतना ही ज़्यादा precise होगा. It means ये जो precision है, ये depend करता है on the measuring instrument कि उस measuring instrument का कितना limit है, कितना limit of resolution है, कितने number of decimal places तक वो scale या वो instrument measure कर सकता है So, it depends on the measuring instrument it depends on the measuring instrument. 
तो ये तो हमने समझ लिया कि एक्यूरेसी और प्रेसिजन अकॉर्डिंग टू द डेफिनेशन ये होता है नाउ वी ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द सेम टर्म्स विद द हेल्प ऑफ एग्जाम्पल नाउ लेट एस कंसीडर एन एग्जाम्पल आपने कोई एक्सपेरिमेंट परफॉर्म किया और उस एक्सपेरिमेंट में जो एक्चुअल वैल्यू है वो मान लेते हैं कितनी है द एक्चुअल वैल्यू ऑफ द एक्सपेरिमेंट लेट एस टेक फोर पॉइंट फाइव सेवन टू सेंटीमीटर आपने कोई लेंथ मेजर की और उस लेंथ की जो एक्चुअल वैल्यू है वो है फोर पॉइंट फाइव सेवन टू अब आपने वो जो लेंथ मेजर की है वो दो अलग अलग इंस्ट्रूमेंट से मेजर की है एक है इंस्ट्रूमेंट ए और दूसरा है इंस्ट्रूमेंट बी सो इंस्ट्रूमेंट ए से जो आपने मेजरमेंट की उसके अकॉर्डिंग आपने लिखा 4.4 सेंटीमीटर और जो आपने इंस्ट्रूमेंट बी के अकॉर्डिंग मेजर किया वो रिजल्ट आपका आया फोर सेंटीमीटर नाउ इन दीज टू ऑब्जर्वेशन बाय द टू डिफरेंट इंस्ट्रूमेंट Which result is more precise or more accurate? So let us talk about first about the accuracy. Now, which result is more accurate? So, four point four centimeter is more close as compared to four point two three one. So, four point four is very close to four point five seven two. It means. Instrument A result is more accurate. So this result is more accurate, and this result is less accurate. Okay. Now we talk about precision. Four point four centimeter is measured up to one decimal place, and four point two three one is measured up to three decimal places. so this result is more precise because precision tells us to what resolution you are going to measure jitna zyada number of decimal places hoga utna zyada aapka instrument aapki measurement precise kehlayegi so iska matlab ye hai ki instrument b ka jo result hai wo more precise hai this result is more precise and this result is less precise so this is the difference between the terms accuracy and precision i hope you understood this now it is the time to discuss about the classification of errors we classified the error mainly in two categories one is called systematic error and the second one is called random error now systematic errors are those errors which either give you more value or less value as compared to the true value so systematic errors those errors which either gives positive or negative value as compared to true value as compared to true value कि जो आपकी सिस्टमेटिक एरर्स हैं ये एरर या तो आपको रिजल्ट पॉजिटिव देंगे या रिजल्ट नेगेटिव देंगे ये इनमें फिक्स होता है या तो हमेशा ये आपको मोर वैल्यू बताएगा या आपको लेस वैल्यू बताएगा फॉर एग्जांपल मान लेते हैं कि आपके घर में एक वॉच है और आप एक रूम से दूसरे रूम में मूव करते हैं उसी टाइम में आपके किसी फैमिली मेंबर ने उस वॉच का टाइम फाइव मिनट आगे कर दिया अब उस वॉच से आप जब भी टाइम मेजर करेंगे ऑब्जर्व करेंगे तो वो वॉच आपको हमेशा फाइव मिनट एक्स्ट्रा बताएगा सो दिस इज पॉजिटिव एरर ऑलवेज इट विल गिव यू फाइव मिनट एक्स्ट्रा अगर उन्होंने टेन मिनट पीछे कर दिया बैक कर दिया टाइम तो फिर वो हो गया हमारा नेगेटिव एरर वो हमेशा हमें टेन मिनट लेस बताएगा 
now first we discuss what are the causes what are the causes or sources of systematic errors there are mainly three sources of systematic errors first source of systematic error is instrumental error now what is instrumental error as the name suggests if there is fault in the instrument if the instrument is faulty if the instrument is faulty then it may cause instrumental error or the instrument is not calibrated properly so there are different causes of the instrumental error also first cause of instrumental error is faulty instrument faulty instrument second one is calibration third one is zero error so these are the three basic causes or sources of instrumental error first one is faulty design of the instrument or faulty instrument if your instrument is faulty it has some mechanical defect then it will not give you the correct value there is more uncertainty for example you are going to measure a length by a meter scale but the print on the meter scale is fade out then you are not able to measure the value or the length accurately similarly if you have not calibrated your instrument properly for example if you are going to measure the temperature by thermometer and you have not brought the mercury level to zero in the thermometer then it will not give you the accurate value the third cause of instrumental error is zero error before performing the experiment you should do zero correction or follow zero correction method and you will learn this method in the physics lab while you are performing the experiments now the second cause of sources of systematic error is imperfection in experimental procedure or technique or method when your method of performing the experiment is not correct then such kind of source will occur and causes the error for example if you have to measure the temperature of the body so most of the person or the people place the thermometer under the armpit but do you know it is the wrong method because whenever you are going to measure the temperature by keeping the thermometer under the armpit it always give you the lesser value of the body temperature than actual value so this is the wrong experimental technique but we are following it in daily life so this is the wrong procedure and it causes the systematic error now the third source of systematic error is personal error personal error it is a very subjective kind of error if the person is careless if the person have not set up the instrument properly and he is not doing uh, and he is not giving his proper attention to the experiment then such kind of error will occur now we are going to discuss the second type of error that is called random error random error are irregular in respect of sign and size so random errors are irregular in terms of size and sign these errors are irregular in terms of sign and size 
these errors are irregular in terms of sign and size because they are depending on unpredictable fluctuations in experimental condition because you cannot predict what kind of fluctuations are going on in experimental condition if there is any change or fluctuation in experimental condition then it will cause uncertainty in our measured value for example if you are going to measure the speed of sound by some experimental technique and there is increase in the humidity in the air then the in increase in humidity will cause the increase in the speed of the sound so you will get a different result or different measured value let us take another example if you are going to measure the current in an experiment by the help of ammeter and there is unpredictable fluctuation very small fluctuation will be there in voltage supply then it will also fluctuate the measured value of current so the person takes number of observation but he may get different observation every time so these errors are called random errors and there is one more type of error that is called least count error it occurs in both random and systematic errors we will discuss least count error in the separate video lecture because for that we need some instrument to understand now the question is how can we reduce the errors yes definitely we can reduce the errors by following simple steps step number one we should use the instrument with higher precision second we should improve our experimental techniques step number three we should perform the experiment several times and find out their arithmetic mean because the mean value approaches the true value so friends in the next video we will be going to discuss how to calculate the relative error and percentage error and this is very important because you will face one question definitely from this topic so like share and subscribe our channel as much as you can it is your loving channel that is physics law thank you bye bye jai hind jai bharat